Hi, welcome back. You know what this is? PS5 unboxing time. I've kept my brothers waiting long enough, so let's check it out. It barely fits on the overhead camera. Oh my word. Thank you. Oh, let's just get that in the shot up there. Gee. I suppose we should go properly around the box. What have we got? Oh yeah, SSD. And you know, pretty much 99% backwards compatibility. So that's, that's good. Yikes. Massive. Cool, we've got usual documentation, power lead, very nice that Sony always put the power supply in their consoles, unlike a certain someone. Dual sense controller, I don't know if you're going to pick up all the little Check that out in some B-roll. Oh yeah, the stand. HDMI. Here we go. Do you know what? I think after all the comments about how big it is, it's actually not looking that big anymore. Let's see. Oh, no, I tell a lie. No. <laughs> yeah, gone for the disk drive version. Let's put it on camera there. So I'll take these off and right now, spray paint it. <laughs> Customize it straight away. You'd paint it red. I would paint it red. Yeah, there it is, PS5. The physical media edition. I'm gonna test it out, play some games, see how it does with Oh man, I wonder if how it, if this even plays CDs. Have they totally Sony have totally taken that out now? Just don't even bother letting it play normal music discs. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, so taking it apart before I've even plugged it in, just to inspect these marks. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it sort of looks damaged. But they actually do line up with this stuff. So. There's stress marks from these, isn't it? Yeah. We just take off the other side as well. Uh, I think you put this side up. There you go. I looked it up online. On the uh, 56k modem thingy. Yeah. Look at that PlayStation logo underneath as well. <laughs> and no cases. Cool. Let's spray spray paint these red. <laughs> Shall we plug it in and actually use it? Okay, let's run over some quick first impressions. I feel like this early stage is basically a PS4 Pro Max. Existing games have better performance and that's great for the likes of Dynasty Warriors 9 for example, which can barely hold 20 FPS on a PS4. But also some games got a 60 FPS patch, like Ghost of Tsushima, which was initially locked to 30. I hope Final Fantasy VII Remake gets a patch like this in April, that would be great. I don't imagine we will see PS5 titles which don't have a PS4 version for a couple of years, but I tell you what, PS5 games with ray tracing and HDR look amazing, reflections never look so good. The controller is very comfortable and the haptic feedback advancements for the vibration and triggers is excellent. 
a quick test using the performance priority setting in the PS5 configuration did force 1080p on Call of Duty, but then gave us 120Hz in HDR, even on this 2018 OLED, which is sweet. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to be notified on my uploads. Check me out on Instagram at the TechnoG. I'm signing out, stay safe and take care. When are you starting then? Like, when, when I get silence, I guess. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. <laughs>